and then if I oh, sweet. Okay, I really don't know why I changed that, but whatever. Um okay, so I am assume that all your guys are CX because you're just gonna declare it at the start of your move, right? Yep. Okay, cool. Um alright, well, uh last hope at new flower, the last scenario in at least for this pack for now. I forget actually if it has more. It probably does. But um yeah, after this, it's uh more Italian Civil War stuff, so I am uh, ready to get this uh, over with. Italian Civil War? Uh, Spanish Civil War. <laughs> did I say Italian Civil War? Yes, you did. Well, uh, that's not until 1943, kids. Oh, God. <laughs> Some say it's still happening between the North and the South. Mm. <laughs> it's only if you believe that Sicily is incorporated in Italy. We're not going to go there. <laughs> that, that dastardly trick they've done. We're, we're not going to go there. <laughs> <laughs> Fair enough. Um, all right, let's go. Let's go ahead and start. These three are all like this because they're oop, They're all in the same hex, by the way. Uh, I just didn't want to... At I0 or whatever? Yeah, I yeah. just didn't... Because I was going to split them up regardless. I just oh, didn't sure. want to have to do that. Yeah, it makes sense. Uh, I'm just going right. to put this down and we're good. Actually, I'll put All this right. Down. All right. So, oh yeah, let me go check for weather real quick. Yeah, you never know when uh, stuff that... might start happening. Dang, that axe is sand number. <laughs> I'm just okay. Set it properly this time. No prep fire. We'll go ahead straight to movement. Gonna go one, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, hmm. one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Uh, yeah, I'm One. I'm gonna stop you throughout this entire thing. Just FYI. Okay. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, uh, eight, nine. Um. One, two, three, four, five, six. One. Have bypass for two. Uh, or would that can, be bypass for three? I think that would be bypass for two. Bypass um, for two. Yeah, bypass for two yeah. and three and four. Hold on, five. let me just double check because I know you can you can bypass. I think you can do two hex size. Or, That's what uh, I thought. Hex ver vertus. Uh, I forget where it still says that or where it's still. That's what I assumed, but... Uh, bypass infantry... Bypass can't be used for edges, yada yada... The other train, etc. One or two contiguous unblocked hex sides. All right, so that works. Um, so one, two, three, four, bypass for five, six. Okay. Um, one, two, three, four, five, six, bypass for seven, eight. And then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One bypass two, three, four, five, six, seven. 
uh, counted that one wrong. Oh well. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five, six. All right. That's all my movement. Go to defensive fire. Any defensive fire? No. No advancing fire. No routes. Go to advance. And we're just going to go whoop. Whoop. Uh, boop. Boop. Boop, boop, boop. Okay. Oops, sorry. He's right there. There we go. Um. Oh, well, hello. What brings you here? Okay, um. Then we're gonna go ahead and go to close combat. There's no close combat. Italian turn, turn one. Hooray! Uh, flip that. Alright, weather. No change. Uh, I'm pretty sure this is not the turn I get reinforcements. Nope. Nope. Because no who weapons. the hell needs them? That's right. No prep. Movement. Take your move stuff off. Um, Now, if these are in the way, I think I would block line of sight. So, he's just going to do... Yeah. Um... Let's see. Uh, we'll just assault the move here. Okay. Uh, that's it. No def uh, well, defensive. Nope. Think so. Advance fire, none. No routes. No. Uh, do I advance? Yeah, you do. You do. You want to advance him? I'm gonna advance him here. Just be a dork. Uh, uh. No close combat. Turn two. Okay. Cool. Uh, no, nope, nothing there. No rallying actions. Uh, no prep fire. I think that's for the movement. Crazy. Yeah, no, it's weird, right? <laughs> um, okay, so we're gonna get rid of that. We're gonna get rid of that. And we're gonna get rid of... Boom, boom. Okay. So, sorry. I gotta move one. Oh, there gonna lose concealment so okay two all right well i'll take a shot two down two uh five on two should be a uh, i want to say it's a contest check uh normal normal he breaks it's fine All right, and that's going to be one. Still going to lose concealment, but okay. Yeah. Two. All right, well, taking a one down two. Uh, Damn. That's a two MC, and, or sorry, one MC and sniper. But it's your sniper, not. Oh, so. right. Sorry. So just one MC. Now okay. it's your sniper. <laughs> uh, sh did I forget? I forgot to put my sniper. I would have put him in I1. <laughs> yeah, you already put him down. Oh, did I? Oh, I put him all the way down. Okay, cool. Oh, it doesn't activate, okay. so. Um, do I want a subsequent? Hmm. Nope. You're good. Okay. So that was so I'm right, three. All right, there I'm gonna shoot as a one down two. Uh, okay. Hit a test check. Sweet. 
Alright. These guys are going to assault move into here. Okay, one down one. Jeez. Christ. Uh, one MC on them. Alright, so seven, six, six. Uh, six, six. Okay, so. Break. He makes it. You break as well. It feels like one of my attacks. Okay. But uh, no shot. Oh, I have some. Oops. Get back over here. <laughs> and I. Oh, shit. There. Stay. There we go. Um. We're just gonna assault move for one, two. Uh, they're gonna assault move for one. Sorry, bypass okay. for one. Okay. Assault move for three, four. Uh, so were they bypassing? And I guess technically it might. Bypass be. here, bypass here. Yeah, yeah, but it's just uh, it always depends on what. Hex they're bypassing, right? Are they bypassing H7 or I7? Uh, H7. Okay. Now, I think they would see these guys regardless, but... Okay. We're gonna... Bypass one. Mm -hmm. Two. I'm... Pretty sure they were real. Yeah. These guys are obviously real. They'll drop concealment. Oops. Three. Okay. Four. All right. Well, that's a that's a one down two. Uh, no, here should be good. Yeah, seven on two. No, pretty sure it's a six for an arm. Uh, six is what you needed. Yeah. All right. So then these guys are gonna go one. Mm -hmm. Two, mm -hmm. three, yeah. bypass four, mm -hmm. five, mm -hmm. six. Okay. And then these guys are going to go one, two, three, four, bypass five, six. Okay. Third. By the way, all these guys have lost concealment because they're going through PAP9, right? Because I yeah. can see them. Yeah, I'm not letting you get away with that, fool. One, mm -hmm. two, yep. three. Four, mm -hmm. five. Six. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six. Uh, how does he get six? Red rate. That's, that'd be oh, five. Oh, five. Five. Yeah. One, two. Wait, where that? Okay. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, mm -hmm. three, four. Okay. One, two, three, 
four. Okay. Okay. Defensive fire phase. Uh, none. Okay. So, advancing fire phase. Um, these guys will shoot two up one in there. Okay. That did nothing. That's great. Uh, route phase. The, I'm going to move them out of the way. All these gentlemen are going to route back into here. Mm -hmm. You can stay there. Um... Advance phase. You're going in there. You're going in there. You're going. Oops. You're going in here. You're going in here. You're going this way. You're going. Uh, let me check the thing real quick. Okay, turn to. Okay, so you're going to be over there. So. You're going in here, you're going in here, you're going here. Mm. Mm. Oh, this is where it gets kind of screwy. You guys are going to go in here. Okay, that's it. Close combat phase. I will d go to hand to hand. Ambush first. Ambush first. Oof. No. So hand to hand for one to and two, two to one. You and one to two There's going to be nine or less for me. Okay. And we're good. All right. I'll take it. Let's see. Okay. They're uh, they're dead as well. Yeah. Yeah, I need a yeah. six. Even uh, even oh, I would have been a shot anyway. Okay. All right, Italian turn, turn two. All right, uh, weather, no change. Um, my guys are already set up. Pretty sure I got nothing else to bring with them. Yeah, cool. Um, so we shall go, uh, no rallies, uh, prep fire, no prep movement. Um, the half squad up top is going to assault and move into M8. Okay. Uh, and now for eyes off board, moving on board. Um, so they're going to get revealed. You already know what they are anyway, so that doesn't really yep. matter. Um, they don't have radios, so they have to use platoon movement. Um, yeah, that's about it. So uh, it's point five. I'm just going to... Uh, to make it simpler, up until I get like closer to your units, I'm just gonna move one. Um, That's fine. Yeah. So, uh, 0. 0.5, one, 1.5, two, 2.5, three, 3.5, four, 4.5, five, five, oops, five, five and a half, six, six and a half, seven. They will go. Hmm. Yeah, they'll go CE. They're already CE. Oh, sorry, they will button up. Is what I meant. Um. So that was seven, eight, eight, nine, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. And I need to double check my overrun. Because it's a quarter plus movement.
Put on one quarter plus enter. Oh man, I feel like I should have put a uh, thing. So it was seven to get here, but not eight, nine, 10, 11, so 12. So to get in over on FF4 is uh, five plus one, so 18. So the first vehicle will overrun or declare it anyways. Um, I'm actually gonna get my chart thing, make it easier for me. Uh, if you choose to do any attacks, um, I think now is the time. Am I, well, I'm overrun. not allowed to CC the vehicle yet, am I? Uh, you can do a, I believe CC or action fire is, there's one of them that you can do before, but maybe you can't even affect it because the, um, where's that overrun chart? Um, so if the location contains any known enemy units, must be declared before entering, which is what I did. Uh, did not buy my first fire. Um, that's a first fire is allowed versus this movement expenditure. That's first fire from outside the vehicle's hex is performed normally. So you can defensive first fire, although they're armored, so I don't think you'd be able to really affect it anyways. Um, I'll try these guys, though. Uh, okay. So that would be... Well, that would be on a two-hit, I guess. Vehicles, ten. For the LMG, yeah. Um, uh, so vehicles ten normal... Um, I'm pretty confident in saying that they would have been in LOS at least for two movement, and this is an overrun, so whatever, all that extra, so there's no uh, issue there. There is a, uh, there's a plus two to hit for being in motion. Um, do you, I don't think you get range because I'm in motion. Mm. Uh, um, and then I get minus one for the leader. That sounds right. Moving the vehicle plus two target size. No, just normal vehicle. So yeah, you can always uh, don't forget these cards. Oh, I hit it in the hall. So you're still you're good to roll for the two kill. Yeah. Let's see this. Okay. Um is my H four thing. Let's see. There we go. Uh Lancy one one ZM overrun. Okay, so no matter what it's a fourteen Jesus. Um, so defense first fire options, so they've tried, uh, resolve the overrun, um, I believe there's a minus one for being in the open, yeah, but there is no other, just a minus one. Uh, seven on 14, I think I said. Which is a two and a C. Port. Oh, that's right. You're using the IAFT. That is correct. Two MC. Yeah. All right. Seven five five. Be 
need some ELRs too. Do you have an ELR two? What the hell? Okay. Um, all right. So uh, after that, they're going to stop for nineteen. Uh, and okay. next up, um, okay, so for actual, for the art market, where did I have markets? Uh, sorry, I'm just going to put a victory marker on the building. So this and this. Okay. Um, so, technically, this should already be in motion. I didn't put a counter, but, um, so, uh, one, two, two and a half, three, three and a half, four, what's my total here? Uh, uh, four and a half, five, five and a half, six, they'll stop there, and then... Uh, essentially unload everybody. This one. Oops. And then these other guys will do one, two, two and a half, actually, no, three, three and a half, four, four and a half, five, five and a half, six, six and a half, stop for seven and a half, and then unload everybody. I think that's it for our movement. That's fair. Um, can't really defense fire or anything. Okay. Um, I mean, you always yep. have the half squad up, up here if you want to shoot at me. Um, if you have two squads, I could shoot at me, at least. Give me a moment. Okay. Yeah, that's gross. Okay, fine. Uh, two up, two into there. Why not? Oh. But why not as a? No, no. Why would you not do this as a fire group? Or can they not? Oh, they're not Ethi elites. Ethiopians uh, can't fire group. No. Yeah, only the elites can. Okay. Well, uh, it was a five. Yep. And that's gonna be a normal morale check. Right. And there we go. No more shots. All right. Um, advanced fire phase. Um, I'm pretty sure this first vehicle should be marked as gunning first fire. So I will just put that counter on him. The other vehicle, on the other hand, has not shot yet. Um, and it's going to shoot at the broken guys. Um, I believe... Yeah, so that's going to be uh, eight, I think. Or is it quartered? Why do I not have this memorized? No, it's not quartered because he's not in motion right now. Right, so... Um, advanced phase, bad phase. Um, stopped. MG, half firepower. Cool, so... Uh, it's eight. The vehicle will not count for TEM, so it's just eight flat. Uh, Would not count for TEM. Uh, doesn't he only count at um, after the advanced fire phase? It's but he stopped at that location. Uh, but I thought it was always. Um, I mean, it's it's worthwhile to check. That's for sure. But I was always in the impression that. Um, because they had moved, uh, it doesn't count until the after the advanced fire phase. But like I said, it's it's uh, definitely worthwhile uh, worthwhile to check. I'd call a rule check on that one. Yeah, yeah, yeah for sure. I'm I'm looking. Uh, is attacking team would like to put this under review. <laughs> <laughs> There's a yellow flag on the play. AFE risk. There we go. Um, 
Uh, they are being fired on from within the same location. Earth is burning. It is entrenched again, different level. Unless one or more of the following applies. Okay, so um, an AFV would be subject to T hit case J. A stopped AFV or wreck which is moved was in motion during the current player's turn. Um, player's turns move phase provides a plus one during all phases following the advance fire phase. Which okay. is which is really dumb because it's like in why would you say all phases following the advanced fire phase? Because there's no other shooting done. So I don't know how the T E M would apply other than routes, I guess. Um, but yeah, so that was a five on eight. Uh, no modifiers, so just a, a, just another two MC. Seven or less. He's good. Five. Oop, no, wait. Four, four or less. Four or less. Yeah. Ooh, He's nice. good. He's good. <laughs> wow. Uh, all right. Where were you on the TK number? <laughs> right. uh, sniper one, sniper two. Wow. Very nice. Where were you during the TK, you bastard? <laughs> uh, Alright, well, that's it for advancing fire. Um, routes. Um, I could bypass for routes, right? Um, I, I don't think so, actually. I feel like I read something recently about that, but um, let, me, let me check real quick. Routing bypass. Uh, broken units may not use bypass. Uh, last oh, okay. last sentence of a ten point five. Okay, so there's going to do. All right, in that case, uh, give me one moment. Get, get your guy. God, stupid. Okay, you, you, and you, and you, and you, not you. Okay. We're going to go one, two. Yep. Three, four, uh, five. They they won't be able to route through EE3 because that would be an interdiction. I mean, they could, but I'm just letting you know it would be interdiction. Uh, it has to be known good order units, I thought. Uh, the vehicle. Right. You're... There's no T. I'm out. There's no TM or hindrance. Okay. You, yeah, so if you go into DD3, you're fine. Okay. All right, there we go. All right. Uh, my guy would have routed first, but there's nowhere for him to go anyway. So uh, that's it for routes. Advances. We're going to have one secret stack. We'll go into X6. Mm -hmm. uh, the other group will go into X8, where your sniper is. Um... And that's it. Uh, no CC. All right. That's right. I mean, you could get rid of the thing on the trucks if you want. I already know their trucks. <laughs> yeah, I mean, just in case, you know, in case you ever shoot at them. Uh, believe me, I'm not gonna waste the turn on that. <laughs> um. All right, my. Oh, but sorry. You never know. Mother. I can I can use those trucks to run over to my guys at the bottom, pick them up, and. Uh drive them up sure um so i'm gonna try to rally this guy eight or less nope well that's great um all right uh we'll do five or less for him uh, jesus christ yeah come on you're supposed to be the elites come on yeah, no chop problem. chop show me it uh just Don't... real quick did you oh you did better okay never mind um, that's all mine. Uh, mine cannot return to it, so. Okay. Uh, I'm not deploying me or anything, so. Alright. Well, you can't deploy. Italians can't deploy. Oh, uh, oops. We, for, we might actually have something here. Uh, because the weather is overcast. He rolled an 11. That might be rain. Oh, uh, no, not the rain. Weather. And I wonder, and I wonder, who's uh, winning? Ten or above is rain. It's raining now. Uh, correct. Uh, 
Oh boy. Which means there is mist. Wait, is that mist? Wait, the wind change appears while it is already okay. No, so uh, it is just rain right now. Okay. There will be the chance for mist. Okay. Uh, anywho, then I will just go into my prep fire then. Oh wait, no. It... Okay, so nope. it's... no, no, no. You're good. It's just there. There is actually mist. Sorry. It... But so it, yes for mist. It just won't affect people. Um, After six X's. Yeah, before six X's. Yeah. If we increase the rain, then it'll yeah. affect uh, more. Yeah. So, it's cool. Yeah, I'm very well aware that's like same as snow. Unfortunately, stupid snow. Yeah, I haven't played enough with it uh, either. Um. Well, you will if you're doing the Spanish Civil War scenarios. Oh, we're, it's just me. I'm doing all of it, so. I'll be, I'll be uh, very fluent by, like, Battle of the Bulge. Alright, so I'm going to go straight to my movement phase. These guys are going to assault into here. Um, sure. Sure. Yep, you're, you're good. Okay. Oh, lord. Okay. These guys are going to go one. Uh, I'll shoot at him with the, the front vehicle. Okay. Uh, so it will be an eight uh, down two. God. Oh, damn. Yeah, they're just dead. Well, damn. Son. Uh, go away. <laughs> go, go, go away. There we go. Okay. Uh, that's also oh actually you know what uh, I'm not gonna leave any residual because it's rate of fire. Um. Shit. <laughs> do I want to try again? <laughs> I mean, I don't know if I would suggest it personally. It was very lucky, so who knows? My with my odds, I'll roll. I'll break the next machine gun, but I'd rather not. Uh, I don't want to jinx it one way or the other. I'll salt move him into there. Uh, yeah, I'm just gonna, um... Hmm... No, yeah, I'll shoot him. Eight, uh, down to one. Jesus Christ! Oh, yeah. that's my sniper elite. Yay! Hey, finally, sniper. at least. Okay, what we got? Oh, that's not what I wanted. Um, uh... So... Yeah, four, four, okay. Just, just uh, gonna go back to them. Um, so on top of me. Um, that was a two on. That was a one. That was a one. Yeah, I know. Um, so the that squad's dead no matter what. Uh, there are three targets. So uh, one, two, three. Oh, they all get it. Uh, no. What happens? Oh, uh, sure. Yeah. What happens is, um, you'll have to choose one of them, uh, and then you roll a uh, sniper activation number twice uh, to see if you trigger it again. And then whatever happens okay. will be on those. Now, um, I'm pretty sure you're going to want to choose the leader. I do want to choose the leader. Yeah, so leader's dead. Uh, and then roll your sand and see what uh, if you get it more. Okay. Well, I did roll another sand right after that. I don't know if you count that or not. Sure we can. Uh, is do you have a preference on top or bottom to be pinned? They're the same, aren't they? I, I don't care. Let me roll the other one then. Um, and then the other one's good. Okay. Um, I will actually see if because I don't think you'll have enough movement. Um, I want to see if I can shoot you back, which I know I can. But what's the? Uh, Unpin, okay. If I get a two, I will kill the sniper. If I roll a three, I will pin it. Okay. Hmm, this can also go away. Uh, I don't think it's worth Okay. Uh, 
Yeah, fuck it. No. <laughs> so the top guys are. Uh, I'm pretty sure that's just first fire. Some shit, teammates, reduces, Marky, yeah. Although, do I become TI? Okay, never mind. They're TI, so whatever. We'll mark them. Oops. So basically, you're both pinned. <laughs> uh, yes, the bottom guys are not going to do anything this turn. Okay. Which, frankly, I'm okay with. So we're going to bypass one, bypass two, three, four. Okay. We're going to go one, two, three. Okay. Late CX for four, five. Uh, Not. Okay. You guys are gonna assault move into here. Sounds good. You're gonna assault move into there. Mm -hmm. Bypass one. Okay. Two, mm -hmm. three, four. Okay. Um. One. Bypass one, two, three, four. Okay. One, two, three, four, five. Okay. And then. Oh, Lord. How am I going to do this? Okay, there we go. So one, two, three, four. Well, the lose consumer and two squads. Okay. One, two, three, four. They'll also lose consumer, but all right. Can they see me? These guys can see you for sure. Okay. That's all uh, my movement. Defensive. All right, defensive. Um, the back vehicle is going to rotate its turret to shoot at these guys. Um, so it's going to be, I believe it's a slow turret. Yep. Sorry, I'm just trying to familiarize myself with this uh, PDF. So what does it say? Turrets. If it's a circle, it's like normal. If Yeah, it's like AA or whatever. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, it goes like circle, square, solid, or yeah, circle, square, thick square, broken square, none. Right, right. Um, so he's gonna turn one, shoot these guys. So it, no matter what, it's uh, it's an eight, but we'll just worry about the stuff after. Um, not gonna be a hit, no matter what, uh, and mm -hmm. thankfully does not break it. So final, need to get residual away. Um, yeah, I think that's it. Yeah, uh, advance card. Okay. Um. Oh. Uh. No, you're good. Okay. Never mind. Sorry, I was no. looking. I was looking at a support weapon that I thought would have been dropped, but was not the case. Okay, we're gonna go straight to route phase. I have no routes. Do you want a route? No. The guy's gonna stay put. Okay, we are going to go into the advanced phase. Uh, let me see here. Uh, big book of wisdom, tell me what you know. Okay. Uh, 
Okay, how do we do this? Whenever I which that is less. Okay, we're gonna try to uh, tank flip this bad boy right here. Then that's gonna go here. You're gonna go here. Uh, you're gonna go here. You're gonna go here. You're going to go here. Go here. 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 Okay. That's my advance. So. We'll go ahead into the close combat. Okay. Squawk for it, which will take the other one. Four tons, they may choose to go. Combine tank flip attack as their CC attack. I'm so sorry. So, uh, they, you still have to pass a Patsy, yeah. Or does it, does it not because you're stacked with the leader? I forgo. A normal CC attack attempt and instead combine tank flint as a CC attack. Uh, in way. But you still have to, because to advance into a vehicle's location, you always have to pass the uh, pass, right? Yeah. yeah. So, what's that? Will that be 8 8 8? Um, passing non elite minor, uh, allied minor troops. Must pass a one patsy rather than a normal when called upon to take a patsy. Okay, mm, so eight seven seven. Uh, the leader is fine because he's considered elite. Okay, so eight seven seven. Yes. Actually, it might just be eight. eight. I'm not sure if I. I'll check up the patsy, roll it, and uh, just because I'm curious if. Uh, uh, Oh, you little fuckwad. So, the important thing to note, or to try and figure out, is do your... Well, I guess it technically won't matter. Uh, if the leader does anything. If he can apply his leadership, but I don't think it's going to matter. Um, yeah, that's always the problem with uh, advancing into vehicles. Well, I guess I'm just going to have to try to drop a grenade down the hatch, because I failed that one. Yeah. So I can't do a tank flip anymore, so I'll just try to drop a grenade down the hatch. Okay. So, sequential, do attack first. Because um, there's no ambush. So, I CCP got a... Is five with a, with a uh, minus one for leader. Well, the right. SMC. Yeah, so you have a plus one to the CCB, and then you get a minus one for their leader. So you're at a CCB of six. Okay. How many CCB do I need to uh, so, kill you? So essentially, when you're when you're doing this, uh, it's always a uh, you're rolling two dice because it's like a, a normal close combat check. And then as long as you're below your CCB, it's a kill. Uh, if you're below half, it um, uh, should be a burn. And I forget the other results. Okay. Um, my guy's not in motion, so there's no plus. Uh, is there anything else? It has a manned MG. There's no escorts. Did not open. Okay, so it's basically just a mix. Yeah. Yep. Six, eight, yeah. All right. Um, so then they get marked with melee. 
think that's it. Okay. Italian turn, turn three. All right. Uh, weather. Uh, so we can get wind and rain, right? Potentially. So think about wind, but I don't know about the rain. Well, rain, so rain does not stop uh, as per the SSR, uh, mm. even if we roll a three or less. However, All right. I don't, I don't think it raining prevents it, uh, wind. No, you're good. I'm just not sure. We are good. Wind's not going to matter anyways. None of us have smoke. Well, you are currently fighting a vehicle, which could potentially do something. Oh, I never shot back. Sorry. Uh, what's the... It's my machine guns versus your firepower, so I think it's two to one. I don't know why. I, sorry. I had to make this roll. Oh, damn. So they're dead? Yeah. And the LMG stays on the ground. So I didn't roll a uh, yellow one. Did I? I did. Uh, so then it's... Sorry, I got um, The destruction is... Ground destruction... A1.13 may not be used. The attacker makes a subsequent for each possessed if the this DR is less than the black to kill number, which is a two to one. Uh, yeah, okay, so the SM, that's also gone. Jesus. Um, I'm not even gonna check the, the wind stuff. Um, all right, well, uh, my reinforcements, are you going to prep fire? Uh, well, reinforce... Um, we haven't even gotten to the uh, Oh, yeah. We haven't really. So... Oh, this stack. Oh, right. This... I can't do two. Because uh, you can't overstack, so... You should have already had this recorded beforehand. Yeah. Uh, I had marked them as... Uh, I can... Can I reveal this secret note? Or is that like a... That's fine. Because in my private notes, it's there. Okay. Um, all right, so those guys are there. Uh, did weather rally? Take off pins. Thank you, I. Uh, we'll we'll try whatever. Nope. DM comes off. Uh, your rallies. All right, we'll try this guy in the back. Eight or less. Nope, of course not. Yeah. Or what? Yeah, no, nine or less for the other guy. Okay, we'll grab him. Okay, that will make that one eight or less and eight or less. Yep. Alright, well, you get the MMG back. Okay. Uh, Alright, so um, prep fire. <laughs> Vehicle one is going to shoot at your guys in the open as an eight flat. You ever get annoyed by your own dice? Constantly. Yeah. Uh, K2. Where the fuck is it? Uh, where's what? Oh. Okay. Four and five. Okay. Um, this vehicle will shoot at uh, your guys in the open. Uh, it'll be an 8 up 1. Um, 7 on 8, 1 MC. Yeah. Alright. Sniper. Order pop. Let's get that. Uh, 
goes here. This goes one, two, three, four. Yeah. So it's going to pin your guy in the right corner. Uh, all right. Do I have any other pips? No. Um, movement phase. Uh, okay. So I have to come in. GG5, is it? Yeah, so one, two, three, four, five. Right? Um, Did I not have another one? What happened to my other squad? Where? I thought I had another one right here. Uh, you. Didn't you? I believe I did. Yeah, uh... Very so he was the... He was the one with the... I have no idea. There. Yeah, I... Don't know. Unless you want to count all your units to see if there's... Been here somewhere else, but um, okay, so my guys have to enter on GG5, which is kind of annoying. Um, oh, that's terrible. Yeah, okay, um. Oh my god, I, I hate this. Why is it specifically that hex? Uh... <sighs> ah, boy, oh boy, oh boy. Um... One normal move. Alright, I'll shoot with these guys. Six down two. Uh, six. Uh, Up one. Down, down one. So it'll be plus one for TM. It'll be six flat. Because it's a hindrance. Uh, seven and six. Is that normal? Normal. And. Break. Casualty. Alright, well, the other guys are just going to assault move, so uh, I think that's a full firepower no matter what. I don't think you get have um, residual. So, uh, two flat. Um, all right, that's that for their movements. Um, hmm. uh, one squad in X8 is going to dash uh, across the road into Z7. Okay. I think that's going to be it for them. I guess I'll stay there. Um, front truck is going to go into motion for one. Uh, you have to roll for mechanical reliability. Sure. Uh, gets it. Um, he's going to lose it no matter what. Uh, so one. Or, sorry. Start was one. That's two. Three. Four, and then five, or sorry, uh, four and a half, five, five and a half, six, six and a half, 
this is a marketplace, right? Mm hmm So, do I still get road rate, or? Nope. But it's, is it building rate? Because if it's... It's, it's orchard rate, I believe. Oh, okay. Uh, man, it's been a while. What's orchard rates? Or truck. Vehicles. Truck. Yeah, treat each hex of the marketplace as an out-of-season orchard. Four. All right. Uh, I'm going to say that was 11, 15, open ground is also four, uh, 19, 20 in motion. Check, he's fine. Starts for one, one and a half, two and a half, three and a half, four, four point five, five, six point, or five point five, six, seven, eleven, fifteen, nineteen, and blah, whatever. It'll stay in motion too. Uh, Don't these. Don't these guys on GG have to reveal themselves? Uh, he assault the moon. But I could still see him. Uh, I thought if he had hindrance, but... I'm pretty sure if you have hindrance, you still need to keep it, but whatever. Um... Uh, alright. That's it for, uh... This guy is going to dash to W7. Okay. And that's it for our moves. Defense fire. I'm going to try to hit the th armored car with the LMG. Okay. Uh, that hit. make hits it. Uh, TK. That does nothing. Yay. Um. Going to assemble that. Um, I will shoot these two into here, so that's five up one. So that's five on the five, which is going to be a MC. Uh, break and go. Sniper, no sniper. Okay. Oops, not what I wanted. No other shots. Okay. Uh, advanced fire phase. None none to do. Uh, route phase. These guys are going to uh, route to this building. And okay. That's it for my routes. Um, this guy is going to have to try to advance into this building. Uh, Same. Yeah, so he'll take uh, interdiction unless you low crawl. He'll move back. With the yeah. leader. Okay. Alright, uh, advances. The rest of the group will come on board. Um, I'm kind of curious, is Max joining in? No, okay. So, they have to leave. Okay. Um, I 
other advances. Uh, one group or one unit from X6 will go to X5. Okay. Um, CC, no CC, uh, turn four Ethiopians. Okay, I'm going to try to revive the guy up there again. Mm -hmm. No, nope. God. Gonna try to revive the squad. Nope. Uh, um, in, uh, Gonna try to revive the other squad that's DM'd. Nope. Uh, any ra rallies for you? Um, no. So, okay. this squad's gonna lose DM. Okay. I'm gonna shoot the LMG to your armored car. Okay. That's a hit. That's a kill. Are there any... Just curious if there's any modifiers. Um, there is a plus one to the TK. It doesn't make it half or less. So it's just an elimination. Um, why is it? Why is it a plus one? Uh, MGs. It's a less than twenty-five millimeters. So you're at two range. So you get a plus one. Um. So crew survival. They. Do not survive. So they are going to wreck. And crew dead. Okay. So all I wanted to do, I'm going to move my face. These guys are going to assault move into here. Okay. These guys are going to move. Uh, One, two, three, four, five, six. That's gross. Okay. These guys are going to dash from here to. Actually, no. We're going to dash from here to here. Okay. Well, they'll still get shot at uh, in DD3. Okay. And also declaring a fire lane. So, okay. uh, these guys will be one, two, three, four, five, six. Um, so it's a two and a half, uh, half. So it's one down two. Three on one is a one MC. Take it. Uh, and then it is a, uh, does the, Fire lane only extend to its normal range? I think so. Mm, yes. So, here. Yeah. Okay, this one's gonna go. Which I'm very curious now if I declare a fire lane if I'm shooting at long range. Oh, and it's firing within its normal range. Okay, so I can't declare it. Okay, so it's going to be one, two, that's uh, one, uh, two, three, any shots here? Uh, okay, no, you're good. I just wasn't, uh, wasn't sure. Okay, one, okay. two, three. Right. One, mm -hmm. two, okay. Mm 
we're going to assault move the, these guys into here. Okay. I'm going to dash two of these guys into here. Uh, they'll get, or they should get spotted from, yeah. X6 will see them, so anybody who does dash will get revealed. Okay. But uh, you're good in there. Okay, I'll be one, two. Uh, yeah, that's not marked as a factory, so okay. Two. One, mm -hmm. two, yep. three, four. Mm -hmm. One, bypass for two, three, four. Um, I'll shoot him with this guy. Has a uh, three, um, up two. Yeah. Okay. That's all my movement. Okay. Um, defensive vehicle is going to shoot at the adjacent guys as a 16 uh, up 2. 16 or 6 on 16 is a 2 MC. Alright. Uh, this stack will shoot at the other guys in EE4. Um, it will also be a, a 9, 11, uh, 11 up 2, uh, 8 on 11, uh, 1 MC. Right. Uh, the top guy is pinned. I thought I pressed a pin. Oh. Uh, there we go. Uh, no other shots. Okay. That's where it is. No advancing fire. Go ahead and do the route. Okay. Um, advance. We're just gonna go boom. And if we are gonna go on top of him, and you guys are just gonna go into here. Okay, roll for ambush. Nope. All right, so I will be declaring hand to hand. Mm -hmm. So that's two to one. Two to one. I'll just do a one and two. Okay, and that's going to be nine. Okay. So you kill one? I kill the entire stack. Hand to hand. One to two is a six and I roll a five. That's ridiculous. You killed the entire stack? Yeah. Okay. Um Yeah, no. I can't take yeah. no more bullshit. I'm done. I call it. Yeah. I honestly like it, these the dice today are just like insane i don't none of like that shouldn't have worked um 
you know, this half squad at the start doing everything they did shouldn't have worked. The, yeah, anyways, this, this was just a crazy ride from start to finish. The fact you rolled three snake eyes in a row is, well, I'm like, no. Or three threes in a row that turned into snake eyes, no. Yeah, yeah, it, especially, like, and they all happened on, like, movement with minuses, like, how do you even, like, how do you prevent that? Or, like, how do you, you know, go about rectifying it? Um, yeah, that's half my force already dead in the start half turn, half the game. Yeah, and, like, yeah, I, I, it's hard, it's hard for me to, to really, like, expand further, because, like, what can I say that's not just going to be, like, frustrating in a way? Um, or, like, expressing my own frustration at, like... Because I know for sure, like, I'd be 100% tilted if this was happening to me, so... Um, yeah. But, uh, yeah. okay. So, um, I guess that leaves us the option. Did you want to um, play the next scenario, or did you just want to call it a night? What's the next scenario? Uh, next scenario is um, San Cervera, or Bayo's Column. Uh, it's Spanish Civil War three. I'm not sure if I did. I get you the card for that. If no, uh, give me a quick second. I'll send it your way. Yes. Let me take a look at it. I don't know. I I'm just burnt out on Ethiopia, man. I the last ten scenarios have been like Ethiopia. Right, right. Um. All right. Let me get this print screened and I'll send it your way because I'm I don't think I sent it. So, um, essentially, it's a seven and a half turn scenario um let's get this open in discord i think it's one it's two boards this being there it is there you go um might be a bit to set it up but that's I don't want to say it's complicated, but it is. Um, it does have a size to it. So, up to you if, if you'd rather uh, save it until next week. Uh, I'm going to have to save that one until next week. I don't even have the extension for this. Oh, I'm not. I don't think there'd be an extension for it anyway. Because the, oh. the, the card. So, critical hit, uh, if, you, if you're not uh, aware, um, essentially, they use. Uh, advanced to brook system or ats um and essentially it uses different counters um but they kind of represent the same stuff and they're near enough to asl that you can kind of sort of use them interchangeably no oh, but i mean like there's 448 squads which don't exist there's the one of the boards does is not an asl board uh scw2 yeah it's uh it should be in there anyways. If I go pick new boards, can I pick SCW2? It should be there. Yeah, it's there. Um, I mean, do you have an extent? Do you need the extension for it? or? Um, the board should be one you can just download automatically once you select it. Uh, as for the uh, extension, there's no extension for the Civil War that I know of. Um, you just kind of have to do some caveats like uh, 448s. You just have to use, um, I think it's not Allied Miners, it's another one. You just have to kind of game it a bit, because for whatever reason, uh, well, I shouldn't say for whatever reason, um, for good reason, a lot of people have not, have chosen to skip over and essentially not work on anything um, critical hit related, because one, so few people either have uh, the stuff, or people just choose not to play it mm -hmm. oh, i feel like i saw this before there is a 448 alternatively you just use like a 447 just remember that they're um, eight miles well, can you make like those custom troops or yeah you could do that too the only the only problem is um uh you kind of lose out on like the broken thousands or whatever because whenever you break uh, one of the custom model units, it doesn't remember 
the, the like it doesn't know the backs if they're set the back numbers and then when you flip them back i forget if it remembers because you're messing with values again um Whoa. um it's i don't know how detailed they made this but if that's the case what if they had it to where they were all preset to their nationality so if it's an allied minor it would automatically dock the other one by one uh i don't know i forget if that's you have to have a tag but i, I don't know how uh, feasible it is i have i've never dug uh deeply into the um into counter creation which frankly i should probably change that someday but Okay, so the Japanese have 448s and they're elite, so that would match. But um, yeah, if you don't want to do that, that's fine. Uh, I do have a save that I wanted to run for a scenario, but we'd, I mean, we'd have to redo a bunch of setup and stuff. So I guess that's also. Um, I was going to say, because like, I only have two Spanish Civil War scenarios. I have both of them already booked, um, so I don't know if we do any of those. Other than that, I am currently in my own campaign. I'm just, like, getting into China. Oh, gotcha, gotcha. Yeah, the the other one I have would not be... Uh, it would be um, Japanese versus Mongolian, but... Oh? Yeah, it's a 1936 scenario. Uh, I'll send you the card. Um, like I said, I already have setup done for it for both sides, but um, mm -hmm. if you'd want to go just try it if you really want. It's Dermo. The only problem is it has like a 150 word um, uh, victory condition, which is just. It's just more complicated than it kind of needs to be. That's Goddamn all. Mongolians. That's not me being racist. I'm just imitating the character from South Park. Mm. <laughs> really? You would put Manchu. Who did Stein this again? F.T. Frank Tru. Yeah, Le Cancer, yeah. Same guys yeah, that it's... did, um, well, they've, they've been, we've played a bunch of, uh, I've played a bunch yeah. of their scenarios. Yeah. Why would you use Axis Miners as Manchu Go troops? Uh, oh, I, I guess for the break, like, for that. But... Allied forces, yeah. No, I mean, like, why, because uh, my first thought of it is, like, why not just use three, four, sevens from the Japanese army, and then it's like, well, then they'll have to step reduce, and it's, like, gross. Uh, well, well I, it's also because of the Allied Forces um, negative, right? Allied Forces. Allied force. that, that, um, so if you have two nationalities, they they don't cooperate well. Uh, so you, uh, if you, I, I, don't think you can fire group unless it's there's an SSR I think, and um, there's like there's something else. Allied troop rule, yeah. Uh, leaders can't influence each other. It's eight ten point seven, which I'm actually just gonna yeah. That's not that sounds correct. So it's sad, uh, like, but most of the Manchurian army was like had Japanese officers in it anyways. So it's like, eh. Eh. Well, um... That... Oh, sorry? No, that's just, that's just my designer part coming out of it. <laughs> Cause... Well, like I said, the, the option exists for either. Um, mm -hmm. If you don't, it's fine. We can just set up for a sun survey next week. Um, I would honestly prefer to do the this Japanese versus Spangolian one. Next week or tonight? Uh, next week. Okay. Cool. Uh, so I'll send you the save I have. Um, I don't think it'll matter either way. Like, just pick a side, essentially. Um, and then just leave whatever side you're not playing untouched. Here, we could, uh, roll for it right now. Do you have a besides that you want to play specifically? No. It doesn't matter uh, to me. Okay. You want odds or evens? Uh, I'll take even. Okay. Wait. Which one's attack? Damn it. <laughs> okay, yeah. Okay, I guess I'm choosing. Um, I... That's not the right scenario card. I will take 
Screw it. I'll take the Japanese. Okay, so... There's my save. So I'll send you a save. There you go. Um, like I said, I already set up for both sides because I was kind of just going to play it solo. Um, but uh, just essentially move your, your Japanese forces. That's all. Okay. Yeah. Uh, nothing should be hit. There's probably going to be some... I think I concealed the Manchu coins. So at worst, just like move them off board and I'll delete them next time uh, we touch the scenario. <laughs> All right, sounds good. All right, so um, yeah, so if you so, do you want to play San Cervera at all? Um, like, like two weeks from now, obviously. Sure, we could go do that. Okay, so, cool. Yeah, no, I gotta I gotta start pacing myself. Like this early war shit's really grinding on me. <laughs> yeah, I know. And, and the only reason I ask is just because, like, if there's a scenario. Um, cause right now I'm, I'm going through, uh, some, some FT scenarios, uh, from their, their sixth magazine, essentially. Um, mm -hmm. that's a lot of Spanish civil war stuff, but if there's stuff that, um, uh, you don't want to play that stuff, I'll just like, I'll set aside either for, um, my other gaming partner or like stuff I'll just play solo. Um, like for example, after San Cervera, which who knows how long that'll be. Hopefully we can just do that in one session. Then we're going straight into mm -hmm. uh, Hasmo 15, which is the, from their second pack, which should be a, a very nice, you know, change of pace uh, compared to, you know, other stuff. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and, uh, I just checked my log. Yeah, I've it's been over 11 games since I last played any scenario invo involving the Germans, <laughs> and I'm like, that's got to be some sort of record. <laughs> Probably is. I mean, I'm sure there's people out there who will like play exclusively TTO, but those people are just like freaks in general, anyways. Oh my god. I mean, like, I'm happy fighting in China. It's nice to see, like, oh look, it's the Japanese again. Uh, they're they're fun, I guess. Mm -hmm. But I, I, it's like I, I'm ready to have get out of the desert for a little bit. Well, that's where you get into. Um... Like a 19, 1940s or 1941, like China versus Vietnam or China versus Siam, China versus Britain. Or uh, Japan. Japan versus yeah. Britain. Yeah. No, I am like, because I just got a bunch of scenario packs today because nice. Lord knows I needed more. <laughs> um, and uh, yeah, I already sorted them all out. And oh my God. It's just, it's a never-ending pile that I don't know why I keep adding to it, but yeah, as of right now, as far as official MMP stuff goes, the only things I'm missing is Best of Friends 2, uh, the, one of those, one of the classic, like, squad leaders converted to ASL scenario packs, hmm. I don't think it's Rivers of the, to the Rhine, or I think it's the other one. Out of the bunker? No, out of the bunker. It's like I don't know. It's one. Of, it's one that's out of stock on the MMP's website. <laughs> um, so yeah, that one, best of friends two, oh, and then action dozen. Maybe. I don't know. What, what, now, now I gotta look it up. <laughs> now you're making me look it up. <laughs> uh, MMP. Because it, it wouldn't be any of the action packs. It has to be something else. No. Right. So. Um, no, it's. Friends, it's something it's two rivers to the right turning the tide turning the tide i think is the oh it is. yeah it is also the only one that's marked sold out which makes sense yeah so then i got okay asl scenario packs here we go but yeah no i'm missing action pack four action pack five but i could honestly live without those because <laughs> lord knows i don't need more american or russian versus german scenarios um, but the idea is you play against someone who has those packs and then hands you the scenarios. Yeah, well, I already kind of have something for that, but shh. <laughs> I can't. Cause especially when it comes to some hassles, but um, Best of Friends 2, yeah, I need it. I, I could have got, I should have bought it for Best of Friends 2. I, I would have bought it if I realized that, like, during my next, like, that last big purchase, that was the only one that was left. Oh, yeah. um, and then Winter Offensive 3. That's the one I don't have. But I have oh, everything else. That one's... Which one's that one? 1942, 1944, 1944. Yeah. Interesting. 
six, seven, and eight of Winter Offensive, but I have all the other ones. So, and then I have my I have my own scenario pack that I'm making. And nice. What's it about? I... Is there is there something you can reveal on stream as a as a world exclusive? They it's gonna it cover. It is covering the Czechoslovakian forces in exile during World War II. Oh, sick. Um, it starts in 1939 with that skirmish, with a skirmish in Friedrich Mistek in 1939 before the invasion of Poland okay. between Czech and German troops, and it ends in 1945 in Prague. Nice. So is it sort of... Um... Uh, Break Contact did a scenario or like an alternate history thing. Is that like very similar or alternate history? Yeah. No. It, yeah, because it... well, didn't they have something where um, they had a bunch of rules for uh, Czechoslovakians for ASL? Yeah, like um, uh, have you seen? I'm gonna send you a link to a, a publication. Um, actually, I should, probably should have just sent you the link to the free. On the PDF, it's probably way easier. Um, uh -oh. So essentially, uh, LFT, uh, same guys as well, we just talked about it earlier. Um, they did a magazine, I guess we'll call it, uh, and it has a bunch of rules for uh, the checks. And, oh. And it comes with two scenarios. And I think they the next magazine they had was like another one or something. Um, so I wasn't sure if uh, if you knew already about this or not. No, uh, I'm looking at this break contact thing. There's only one. There's only one check scenario. It looks like. Um, there was two. My bad. And then we're welcome. Or maybe if it's right here, I guess. Uh, customs and duties. Oh, hey, they stole the... They stole the photo! They stole the photo I used! <laughs> uh, but... No, I mean... Yeah, oh, no, there's four... Yeah, it's four scenarios. Only one of them has the checks in it, and it's not the scenario that I... I uh, used. Cool. Um, because I have... Or what's this one supposed to be? It's supposed to be French. Yeah. Interesting. Yeah, and they had um in their second magazine they did another one, but I don't the the second magazine is not uh free unfortunately. I was gonna say don't don't tell me these because like I I'm already getting because my second action pack idea is already like crumbling because those the people who made best of friends already stole one of my ideas. <laughs> Honestly, like I don't I think you should just plow through it anyways. Uh. Oh no, this for my second action pack idea, but yeah. But I'm all I'm uh, saying is like, even if someone oh. else has done it before, like that shouldn't. Uh, don't feel, you know, as someone who's never made a, a scenario myself, I don't think I, you should uh, limit yourself. I mean, yeah, no, I could definitely do it because I mean, I just through like MMPs modules and stuff, <laughs> like Hell's Co Hell's Corner and Operation Watchtower both have like the scenarios depicting the same exact action. Mm -hmm. Uh, so, but yeah, no, um, yeah, no, this covers, like, let me see there, yeah, there's one where it's, like, Czechoslovakia versus Germany, and then there's, like, two where it's Czechs fighting for France versus Germany, one Czechs with Polish, uh, fighting the Germans and Italians in Africa. Nice. Um, there's a bunch, there's, like, three, four... Like, yeah, there's like five words about the Czechoslovakian Army Corps on the Eastern Front. Mm. And then uh, uh, two around the uh, the Siege of Dunkirk in 1944. Nice. But, yeah, I actually, contact, I actually have materials that were gifted to me by the Defense Institute of Prague for this project, so... Wow. That's yeah, sick. yeah, they're like, oh, you, you like check stuff here. <laughs> What's your address? <laughs> they're just throwing it at you. <laughs> yeah, no, now I gotta, now I gotta learn how to read checks. So nice. Well, you can always do. Um, uh, if you're in a pinch, uh, there's always like Google Lens or whatever. Yeah, but it, I, I would feel, 
ashamed if I didn't because my family's Czech, so I gotta oh. feel I feel obligated to do it. <laughs> well, that's a pretty good uh, it's a pretty good way to be motivated for it, that's for sure. Oh yeah, no, definitely. And then uh, there was a monster scenario that that I made that Stu wants to try at some point. That Stu wants to try? Yeah, because it's uh in one of the scenario pack. Yeah, one of the scenarios. It's the battle for Kiev in the Czech, the area that the Czechoslovakians fought in. Oh, gotcha. And yeah, and it has like seventy squads per side. So monster pack two. Is that is that what you're we're getting there early? Uh... No, just just that one, oh. uh, just that one scenario. Because, and I I broke it down. So there's so the two scenarios preceding it. If you don't want to fight, do use the big one. You have two smaller actions. Oh, gotcha. Have you but... ever um have you ever seen or played any of the the uh, war oboe stuff? The huge monster pack stuff. If it's ninth, yeah, I was gonna say if it's third party, I've never seen it. Oh, gotcha, gotcha. Yeah, that's kind of how I'm at, where I'm at. Gotcha. But, uh, yeah. I'm curious if, uh, if it might have, like, a, even just, like, seeing it might give us uh, an idea or something to help, to help plan it or whatever. Yeah, I mean, I don't know, he just wants to try it because he, it's a big six-board urban battlefield, so. And he, and he wasn't even posting when I was talking about it, the Battle of Carpet Kit scenario i got how dare you how dare you feign interest in your stuff and not mine <laughs> and, I, I, i'm making no comment at this time it's okay he's only uh, in chat right now <laughs> oh is he i gotta i gotta poke at him every once in a while uh-oh -uh. like he was uh he was he said uh, checks are antiquated are you really gonna let him say that i mean Sounds like you're letting him say that. I don't know how. I antiquated how? He just said they're antiquated. <laughs> an, 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 antiquated how? Like, See, now he's like trying a to cower. Now he's trying to cower. He's saying he's not even there. Someone I was going to say, an, antiquated, <laughs> antiquated how? Like, I, I'm a granny. I, I bake cookies for you. <laughs> no one uses checks. I mean, you know, it's true because... They're not spelled that way, so of course no one would use checks, written checks. Oh my god, did you write it the C-H way? Yeah, he's writing C-H-E-C-K-S. I'm gonna fucking kill you, Stu, come on! <laughs> Alright, that, that, uh, I'm gonna have to do something about cutting that audio. We're gonna, we're gonna, yeah, we're gonna fight. <laughs> how dare you, how dare you mock my people that way? <laughs> Alright, well, at least we got to, uh, we have stuff set up for uh, the next coming weeks. Um, I always said she understands you now. <laughs> okay. Um, if you need, uh, it, yeah, I guess like the, the there's a call to, to action. So anybody who's watching this, uh, if you want to be a play tester, message uh, Rootin Putin and uh, he'll hook you up. There you go, you've now been committed. Yeah, Slava Czechoslovakia. That's right. Alright. I am going to head out for the night. You have a good day, sir. Sounds good. You too. And uh, see you next week. Alright, see you. Cheers. Alright, well, um, thanks for everybody who stopped by. Uh, the Italian vehicle, so, um, uh, Stu, if you weren't around, the basic summary is... Um, all of the Ethiopians came down from essentially these two areas. They came down the roads. Um, there was a hip half squad here and here. Um, immediately, uh, a squad was broken, as well as a leader and another squad. These guys literally never rallied. Uh, they were broken on turn one, and and they've just been stuck here ever since. Uh, Rutan could never roll below a 9, which frankly was frustrating. Um, then uh, there was a very heavy push on the right. Uh, the two armored cars came in from this corner, made it all the way in one turn uh, using road rate, uh, and essentially overrun, killed a bunch of units. Uh, and then uh, eventually this LMG was able to, to you know, get a 2 kill low enough. 
Um, but otherwise, yeah, the this has been painting a really grim picture for the Ethiopians. Um, actually, I'm just going to pull up my stats for my dice. My dice were very, very much on fire today. My average is 5.75 for IFPs over 16 rolls, which is uh, crazy. Really, I, there's for any complaining I've ever done about my my dice being terrible, um, it it has felt uh, at least against Rutan. This is the second game we've played together, I think. Um, and my dice have been really like, especially my shooting dice have been really good. My morale checks have been bad, but whatever. Um, also, uh, the Ethiopians, because they mandatory, uh, they are mandatory uh, hand to hand. They're the that half squad I was talking about earlier. Um, even at a one to two, uh, they still killed the full squad. So that's why, like, this left flank kind of crumbled uh, early, or at least like was deficient. Um, and really, the thing that killed this uh, this play, <clears throat> excuse me, wow, this playthrough uh, was. There were four squads, uh, one in W5 and three in X4. I had a concealed squad in X5. Um, he advanced with the three squads in X4. Uh, there was no ambush. It was a uh, two to one, one to two. Same thing as at the start of the, the scenario or on the first turn. And essentially I killed three squads. Like I just said, oh, I'll just do one to two, whatever. Like it's not, it's hand to hand and, and I don't think I'm going to keep, like, I didn't expect to continuously roll low, um, and I killed a, an entire stack, so, uh, I still have, you know, um, five squads, a leader, and an LMG, uh, I have some trucks to come by if I want to do anything with them, if not, the trucks will just essentially move to stay in this orchard area, and, you know, hopefully I'll burn or something, um, and, uh, the Ethiopians need to control three ground floor locations as well as this hex. I, I honestly don't know how that would be possible for them um, at such a diminished state. I mean, essentially the only base of, of uh, strength is over here and there's three squads that are broken uh, in a building. Actually, sorry, woods. Um, these guys are probably going to die, uh, if not one of these two squads. And then um, these guys are in the open. Something I could try to overrun them. Uh, and these guys are obviously broken. So there's just a lot for a lot of um, a lot for the Ethiopians to overcome. And we didn't really think that there's going to, you know, be much to it. So. Well, the Ethiopians don't get vehicles. But there is something to be said about going um, three entire maps. Now it is only you know twenty five hexes instead of thirty or whatever, um, but it's it's hard for me to get a good feel. The the it was a very very much root in getting diced, so it's hard to say how um, how much I would really appreciate the scenario under different circumstances. Um, there's something to be said about the Italian vehicles being able to overrun and the Ethiopian player having to pretend, uh, protect from that or prevent that from happening. But frankly speaking, like it's, it's definitely an uphill climb the entire way for the Ethiopians. Um, yeah. And, and, you know, I think it's a, I think this scenario, the fact that it's a, a really old one, from you know the the early to mid 90s um, really plays into the fact that it's a movement heavy scenario um, you need a lot of ground level control which I don't know if that's necessarily possible uh, and when you look at the um, the scenario card the Italians have uh, 16 squads or sorry 15 squads uh, two armored cars and three LMGs. The Ethiopians have 22 squads, a DM MMG and two LMGs. So um, in terms of leaders, it's pretty much equal. Uh, they get one extra leader and use the seven zero. But um, the Ethiopians 
don't have a majority elite squads. Don't know why. Um, the e uh, Ethiopians have an ELR of two, which, uh, frankly, um, even like I've read up on on uh, the the Italo Ethiopian war, uh, I can't find a justification for uh, Addis Ababa essentially the capital of ethiopia um these last defenders the imperial guard uh you know academy cadets which were um which i if if i remember correctly the um, the book i read talks about them being um maybe inexperienced but uh pretty much devoted to the cause like they, they i wouldn't mark them as fanatic or anything but I don't see why it's not um, like eight elite squads and maybe uh, 14 of, of you know the various first line squads uh, regardless it comes down to um, them just not having enough firepower there's no there's no way I like I, I struggled to find how the Ethiopians could push two and a half maps at an equal um, an equal value of, uh, of attacker versus defender and the armored cars are going to punish you at some point so um, they need a morale boost I, um, I agree I think uh, I think that essentially what what I probably would have done if I if I don't make the um, if I didn't make the uh, box first line squads, which I don't even know if there's any. I think there should be one somewhere, unless they all broke or died. Anyways, there should be at least one. Uh, um, I'd probably make more guys elite. If not, um, I would definitely give them like an ATR, something to deal with the uh, vehicles maybe a little bit more easily, um, and. I'd probably shorten this. Uh, I would probably take this board off, um, and either give them all fanatic, except maybe the leaders, um, or just something. The ELR of two is is gross. They I would not give them uh, an ELR of two. That's for sure. Yeah, yeah, subtract a turn, definitely. Um, especially because so so the the idea with the scenario is you have um, you have two half squads that can set up within this area, within on this road. I don't know why they're well digging crews. Don't know why they're hip. Uh, and essentially, the Ethiopian player is going to cross H four and is going to cross P seven. There's nothing that the half squads. Like the half squad, I guess technically you could set up in like H six and reveal units that go through G five, sure. But like, who cares? You know, it's like, why not just make them concealed? Um, you know, they can they they set up after the Ethiopians or whatever concealed and they start you know on on this edge or something. There's there's something that could be done, um, and. Uh, and yeah, it's just uh, it's unfortunate. Really, the the this game was unfortunate. Um, the scenario has rain, and it doesn't affect anything. Like, I, I guess unless we got heavy rain, um, which is you know possible, uh, it doesn't really it doesn't really do anything. Like, yeah, it's. Uh, it's hard to put in in words really just like how how kind of disappointing this one is and and what i would change the balance too uh i actually don't know if there's a um, let's see here uh last hope at new flower let's see what the um, balance is ethiopian six italian four on on roar as of november 2021 i don't i don't get it I don't uh, I don't see where they get it so maybe yeah I don't know
yeah, there's rain in this one, and, like, uh, frankly, it doesn't change anything. I don't know why it's a rule. Um, I would have probably made it just, like, just put heavy rain at the start and cut it by a board. That way there's a plus one. Um, at worst, reduce the number of Ethiopian squads. Make the Italians um, not as strong or something. I don't know. Um, oh, there was also uh, the other thing to mention, too, is that um, the Italians get some reinforcements. Uh, essentially, the 9-1 LMG and 5 squads. And they come in on a random point. Uh, or random. So the Italian player needs to decide at the start of the game. To either they can come in at any of these roads. Uh, I picked the right road because I thought I'd be inconspicuous and then all the the ethiopians went that side and i was kind of cursing under my breath the entire time um but yeah um as uh, as mentioned earlier though this is the last scenario in this like early war before british the british get involved before there's any major international um uh influence i guess we'll call it um so we're not going to see ethiopians for quite some time um i don't know how long it'll be but it'll be it'll be a bit before we see uh, anything in in ethiopia again um we're gonna play uh, go back a little bit in time to play some mongolian versus japanese which is gonna be interesting uh and then really dive deep into the spanish civil war uh and then once you know most of that's done it'll be some uh, chinese japanese um all the way until uh, some German Czechoslovakian, Russian versus Finnish, Hungarian versus Slovakian. Um, things start to, to go pretty crazy with diversity uh, sooner or later. And then we hit Poland, and then it's just Polish versus German. Yeah, and, and I mean... Maybe if there was something to give the Ethiopians uh, smoke grenades or like, like I said, maybe make it heavy rain and that way, like, it's easier for them to cross, you know, into the open ground and, and um, make CC more, um, not approachable necessarily, but more like desirable for, for a player. But yeah, I, it's, um, like I said, it's weird. It, this scenario, the dice were weird. Um, and uh, it, it definitely could have uh, gone a lot better for uh, Rutan. But, I mean, props to him um, for, for, you know, sticking it out as long as it did. I know it's turn four. Um, it was going to be the end of turn four. But, uh, you know, playing half a scenario and, and going through all the the kind of bullcrap that happened, it's not, um, not easy. So, and... At the end of it, uh, we got some preview that even even the two half squads haven't heard of. Getting previews of Czechoslovakian scenario packs, uh, which are gonna be pretty cool. And honestly, I hope uh, I hope that uh, Rutan pulls through on that one because I would love to see those scenarios. Oh, uh, while I'm thinking about it, Stu, you should give me a graphic so I can put it up on the on the left with all the rest of the rotating stuff. Maybe like a Tactical Tuesday um, Discord link or something. Get people uh, interested or, or to check it out. Um, yeah. And if people are watching the YouTube video, uh, check out uh, the Tactical Tuesday uh, videos by Stu. Hey, look, unless uh, unless you're throwing up something that's uh, rated rated R, you know, <laughs> uh, I don't think it's going to turn away viewers. Besides, like, that's the entire benefit I would get is that, you know, you've got me, you know, youth, uh, virility, if I can use that. Um, and then the old man, which like, you know, how appealing is that really? <laughs> Obviously a kid, but, um, 
we also we also need to get a game going too. It's been a while since uh, since we played. Gross. No, like just clean out the tubes every once in a while. That's how it works. Wall up your gun. <laughs> Make sure to store it properly. Hey, no worries, no worries, Stu. Honestly, it's always um, it's always a pleasure, even just chatting after the fact. Um, <laughs> uh, you know, there's always going to be this this project is a long lasting one. There's going to be plenty of times where you can always just show up and give us uh, give us a healthier uh, uh, dose of uh, puns and and you know jabs. So, um, but yeah, that'll speaking of that'll that'll be it for tonight. Um, I think I forgot to mention this uh, last week, so let me make sure this plays. Stick to me like glue, and keep your eyes open. Sick. All right. Uh, so thanks to Copo or to Capo, I always forget uh, for following. Um, stick around for. I'm actually. I'm probably gonna do have uh, squad leader stuff tomorrow. Um, if I don't, because uh, that's kind of going to be off the, just maybe randomly. Um, if I don't, we'll get a game going for Tuesday. We're going to finish up uh, El Alcazar de Toledo. Um, and then uh, since that one's not going to take very long, since it should just be like a turn or two that we're going to play before um, jumping to uh, Not One Inch, which is yet another FT uh, scenario um, from their uh, Spanish Civil War pack. So, uh, stay tuned for that, and I hope to see uh, more people there. So, as always, thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.